of a motorcycle rider being intentionally rammed by Fiat 500. Y'all ain't got no toolies on them bikes out there in the UK. Details after this. Howdy, folks. Howdy. I'm Black Dragon, and welcome to another edition of Black Dragon Biker News Network. Man, you you know, you can't make this stuff up, man. This is crazy. Uh, police release a shocking helmet cam video of a biker being deliberately rammed by a Fiat 500 in Yorkshire. First of all, I don't even know what the hell a Fiat 500 is. Never seen one. But we're going to look at this. First, I'd like to ask you guys to like, share, and subscribe uh, if you like this content. We are Black Dragon Biker News Network on every day. We have videos every day, so come check us out. Subscribe. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And also, get us on our online podcast the Dragon's Lair Motorcycle Chaos. I share this screen, y'all. This is crazy this Friday morning. Beautiful morning. A little cool in Georgia. Police release shocking helmet cam video of a biker being rammed by a Fiat 500. Now, for us bikers, this, this is shocking. Now, this is not going to be shocking for anybody else. But for bikers, this is like the worst nightmare. Uh, just, 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 just try not to you know, try not to break down crying. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go into this action. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a blustery Attercliff. I'm at Ice. Holy moly, man. This is what this is what their Veterans Day is doing over there. Holy moly. Man. <laughs> Okay. Uh I don't even I don't even know what to say. Uh let's see. South Yorkshire police have released shocking helm, helmet cam footage uh, footage of a biker being rammed by suspected thieves in a stolen Fiat 500. Oh, they just on they on one. They just on one. They said yesterday, Thursday 10 November it is reported that at around 11 a.m., a 48-year-old a man was riding his red Honda motorcycle along Auckland Way in Sheffield when it is believed he was deliberately knocked off his bike by the driver of a gray Fiat 500. But I always thought of Fiats as sports cars, you know, like really cool. That thing looked like a uh, a gremlin. You guys remember those? Anyway, the driver of the five uh, of the car and their passengers were all reported to be wearing black balacla balaclavas. You know those things we bikers wear that that hood hood thing that you use to rob banks. Officers conducting inquiries believe the car to be stolen and displaying a false license plate. They call them number plates. 
The victim was understandably shaken following the incident, but did not suffer any physical injuries. No, just, just your damn pride. <laughs> Looky here, man. Whew. Man, I'm fixing to tell you, them cats would have been so shot up over here in Georgia because every like everybody covers her, carries her. This is a state where you ain't even got to have a concealed carry permit to concealed carry. No, they they've lost their they lost all my, all their mind here. That that started with the passing of the law that you can now carry your weapons in a park, like you couldn't carry your weapons in a park. Uh, not a federal park. Don't don't get your behind caught in a federal park with one. But in our Georgia state parks, you can be armed and concealed. Then it moved on to uh, they passed a, a law that if you had a concealed carry permit, you could carry your gun on your side like Wyatt Earp in them. I'm your Huckleberry. Coo, 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 coo. Then they took it to the next level where you could you could now no matter who you are, as long as you haven't been convicted of a felony or domestic abuse, you can carry a gun concealed anywhere. Yeah. So this kind of business right here would get you torn up, shot up, quick, fast, and in a hurry. They just, they just went on on and, and went crazy over there on your boy. I don't know what the hell he did to cause this. What the fuck is then they cussing him out. One guy jumps out of the car and, 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 and pushes him over. It wasn't enough to hit him. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let, let, let's, let's look at this blow by blow. So your boy looks like he's get, he wanted to get out of the car early and run back here and, and, and get your boy. But that, that didn't work because he ran up on the side here. So he had to get back in his car and stop you. And I, I'm not understanding. Like if I'm on a motorcycle, my acceleration is so more accelerated, accelerator, acceleratable, acceleration -er. I can move faster. How the hell did this car catch you, bro? Like your whole motorcycle riding game was off. Like right here at this point, like... Dude, two, two downshifts and you're out. Am I lying? I mean, but how does this happen? How, how, how does this happen? Like you can so outrun the Fiat 500, the little ass, Fiat. your engine is bigger than theirs. But I digress. Now... And you got you got an enduro too, one of these adventure bikes. You can get all up on the curb. You can pop a wheelie right here. You can do a uh uh this is this is where that whole you know James Bond stuff comes into effect. You know, this is this is where you you you're you're supposed to be winning right here. I motorcycle riders at this point should be disappointed. We've been misrepresented here right now but anyway, then he hit your boy to his credit he maintained his upright status so we have to give him credit the motorcycle is still up and running and no worse for the wear so now your passenger your driver dude is still upset angry he didn't quite accomplish what he wanted to he didn't get your boy knocked over all the way. So he gets out of the car. 
and continues to push him over. It's like bowling pins. I didn't get it on the first strike, you know? Well, he's... Now he pushes your boy over. Here's where you get... Bang, 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 bang. That's where you're supposed to get it, right there. Balakaba and all. Bang, 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 bang. You know? I'm hurt. I'm hurt. I'm not as hurt as this guy. So then, your boy, now it's a sprint. Why are you not cutting your boy off here, diving over the car and tackling his ass? Never allowing him to get back to the Fiat 500. Actually, it looks like a Fiat 150, if you ask me. Okay, you're supposed to you're supposed to dive over the hood here, shoo, catch your boy in midair, tackle him, pull your helmet off, and start beating the hell out of him. I'm just saying. So you missed that opportunity. The next thing to do is jump inside the car and grab a hold of the steering wheel while they're trying to get away and causing them to crash into that fence over there, creating as much hell as you can, almost like Elon Musk in a Twitter takeover. Have all your top engineers and stuff leave. Just chaos. You need chaos right now. You need to be chaotic. Somebody said maybe his writing skills are that of an eight-year-old. Well, so are his get get revenge skills are a little lacking here. So now, oh, is that what's going on? That wasn't the driver. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. We're in Great Britain. We're in the UK over there. Man, I'm so silly. I, I didn't realize that the driver is actually on the other side of the car. Why do they drive on the wrong damn side? Here's the driver here. That was the damn passenger. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, dude, you're telling me you had direct access to the driver? I'd have grabbed that steering wheel, my boys. My fellow subscribers, I'd have grabbed that steering wheel. I'd have, man, they'd have been dragging me down the road. I'd have, oh, I'd have grabbed a hold of the driver by the throat. Oh, my goodness. Ah, this is the driver. He actually, okay, there he is grabbing the door. He actually has, and look at the driver looking away like a little girl. Like a little girl. Look at that. His head's turned around in the don't hit me posture. Oh, bro. You're supposed to knife this guy right now or something, man. Something. You can't spit on him because you are you you have your helmet on. There, there, you have direct access to the driver. This is the point where you dive into the car. You, you, uh, uh, there's, there's a lot that's not being done right here right now. Oh, and he, he, this guy, look at him all cowered down like a little girl. The, the Fiat 500 looks kind of cool on the inside. White steering wheel. This is, this is really kind of cool looking. Uh, they, I guess they saved all of the radical cool design for the inside of the car. Anyway, your boy's got his track suit on. Uh, and he is pulling off all cowered down and scared. You, this is the point where you don't let him get away. You got to, man, you got to put the double step on, uh, which is a little difficult for me at this old age, but these young guys, you should, you could outrun him at this point. And now he's gone. Oh, they think about it one more time. You got one more chance to get these guys. <sighs> and they're gone. Well, eh, the bike doesn't look bad. Yeah, it, it'll be all right. 
Th these bikes are made for this. They they they're intentionally made to be hit by punks and stolen cars. It's this is the Honda. Looks like the 600 or something. It it's it's fine. It's fine, really. The pride, however, and the ego. Well, <laughs> not so much. <sighs> well, I suppose police are still looking for them. Yeah. Hello and welcome to a blustery no, at a cliff. I'm at we don't want another video from you guys. It's disappointing. <sighs> well, that's that story. Listen, I got a call. Uh, I got a, a message yesterday. And I was telling you guys about um, those guys that got arrested. And I was it was saying that one of those guys was a, identified as a Christian disciple or whatever. So I've heard from several of those guys uh, who have said, uh, who have sent me messages. And I, I haven't independently confirmed any of this, but. My, I think my suspicions were right. Like, I, I was like, I don't understand. I just wouldn't it's suspect that from that club. Because I was telling you guys about a day that those guys were gathered around me praying for me. I was up in the mountains, uh, the Tennessee mountains, rolling with my, with my, my brother, my, my real brother, my brother, my blood brother. And... They were up there on a uh, uh, on a on a retreat of some sort. One of their you know yearly things that they do. We all of us do. And they 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 stood around me and and circled me. And you had all these guys with their hands on me, praying for me. Uh, I'm gonna find that picture. And put that up uh, today on my uh, on my uh, page where you guys can see it. Uh, I'm actually looking for the picture right now as I'm talking to you guys. It was one of the most um, touching moments uh, of my motorcycle club career. Here, are all these dudes are that I don't know, and I had on I had no idea they were following me. I I, I you know this was. You know, really, uh, maybe three was I think this might have been before COVID. This had to be before COVID. So this was several years ago. And these guys, first of all, the fact that they even knew who I was. Um, so many of them followed my show. And it was one of the most shattering moments for me because I have always looked at this show as like, um, you know, my ministry, you know, everyone has, you know, what they feel like God has set them on this earth to do. Like some of you guys have been set here to be jerks. Others of you guys have been sent here to make money. You know, you do that well. Other folks are volunteers, other folks, you know, everybody has their thing. And I had asked God, I, I, I very seldom tell the story. I'd asked God to, um, to bless me in this thing that I was going to do. Uh, I had asked God to, to, to bless me, uh, in, in starting this channel, because when I started this channel, um, I, I, um, I, it, it was a, a kind of a scary time, um, because nobody really was doing this before, and being the black dude, uh. You know, I, I knew I, I I didn't know how I was going to be taken. I knew that there was a whole lot of racial stuff that went on between motorcycle clubs. And back when I started this, the, not a lot of people even really knew that there were black motorcycle clubs 
or black one percenters or any of that. So I, I knew that it would be kind of, kind of weird. Um, I didn't know how it would, how I would be taken. And, and, and uh, it was horrible at first. There was a whole lot of racial stuff. I never expected to get like this huge thing of people around the world following me. This, this is not what I envisioned. Um, I did. I don't know what I envisioned. So I got to tell you to be surrounded by like 50 white dudes. Okay. All with their hands on me. Okay. Praying for me. And the success of my message, this was not anything that I felt would, would be happening. These, these really tough-looking biker dudes, um, all in prayer over me. You guys see those, see those pictures right there? All in prayer over me such that this show, I believe, was blessed because men of God help pray over it. I, man, I get, I get choked up. Let me get me something to drink before I get to weeping on here in front of y'all. Woo! Mm, uh, uh. I feel like God himself. I could feel the vibration from these men praying for me. I come to find out that one of those men, one of those men in this picture, or and and, and dude, there there were people, there were people all this is just a little phone. There were people all around me that you can't see. One of those guys, I'm I'm told, I don't, I, I haven't independently verified it, so don't quote me. But I'm told that one of those guys in that picture is one of the guys that is 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 that guy that we read about yesterday. So I just I don't know what caused his fall from I don't know what caused him to go from a Christian disciple or disciple Christian rather praying for me on a mountaintop to a man being accused of murder. I don't know. I have no idea, but um, you don't know where life's going to take you um, because some men fall out of the grace of God. Uh, and do things. Um, but I, this is why I can tell you that I was absolutely dismayed when I was reading that because I was just thinking to myself, uh, there ain't no way that these folks that was up there praying for me on a mountain like this did that. So I'm told that he had moved on from this club. I don't know that for sure. That's just something that I, somebody sent me in a message and they said they didn't want to be identified and uh, that sort of thing. So for me, it was just a message that came. But I, I got to tell you that this was a, a turning point for me because uh, on this day, is probably the day that I realized that Black Dragon Biker TV was worldwide. And um, people cared about me that were beyond my little circle uh, of the uh, Black Biker set that I came up on in San Diego, California. Very small secluded set at that time and um we were not a worldwide motorcycle club and all that that hadn't happened yet 
So I don't know what's going to happen with that case, but that's what I was talking about from yesterday. That's why I was like, Christian disciples. Uh, that's peculiar. That, that don't even make no damn sense. That's what I was talking about. So anyway, uh, or disciple Christian, I always get it backwards, but hopefully you guys know what I mean. Uh, so we will cut to the comments and see what you guys had to say. Uh, what's up, uh, Jay Creason? Good to see you. Jam and Rooney, as always. Today is Veterans Day. Yes. <laughs> I guess yesterday was the Marine Corps' birthday. <laughs> oh, my goodness. But today's Veterans Day. And I want to say hi to... I, I, you guys think I don't like the Marines. I, I love the Marines. You know, um, they work for us. So, yes, the Navy loves them. But um, I want you guys to know that for all of you people who are my veterans on here, man, thank you for, my, for your service. We were all in the good fight together. For my young guys that are coming out of the military and coming back from those foreign wars, man, thank you, young brothers, man. You guys stood up, man. And now the country owes you. The, the problem is you're going to spend the rest of your life trying to collect that debt because this country is very nasty in paying back that debt especially when you have injuries and medical things and stuff like agent orange they wouldn't they wouldn't acknowledge that it existed forever when they had those pallets of of water in in the hot desert over there in in um Saudi Arabia and Iraq and all those places sitting in those sitting on those pallets in that plastic and you were drinking that plastic stuff and now your body is messed up they're just now admitting that if you were in uh, uh, um, oh, this one marine base uh, that you were drinking uh, poison water and they've known it all these years, they're nasty. If you, if you were in burn pits, they're just now admitting the burn pits were 1990. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it takes till 2022 for them to come out and say, hey, man. We acknowledge you were in the burn pits and probably got screwed up. And we wouldn't acknowledge it all this time. All this time you missed out on treatment and you missed out on money that you could be getting uh, to resolve your issues. And you missed out because you couldn't work and you couldn't have the, the standard of living. And we, we should have been paying for that. And we haven't until now, 2022. Now you can start to apply. Crazy. But get your benefits. They make it hard because they have too many people to pay. So they make it hard for you to get paid. But be on the good foot to get your benefits. There are many organizations out here that will help you and help rehabilitate you and bring you back whole or as whole as you can be. That's the other battle you have to fight and we all fight it just like you did when facing the Afghanis, just like you did when facing the Iraqis, just like you did when facing the Koreans, just like you did when facing the, the, the North Vietnamese, just like you did when fighting in all these foreign wars, fight the good fight for yourselves now, my brothers. Now we go over to the comments. Uh, happy Veterans Day, shipmate from an Army brother, Carlos Riviera. Man, happy Veterans Day to you, bro. <laughs> my club brother, Goose, says I would have emptied a clip into him. Boy, bro, brother Goose, <laughs> Prez. <laughs> To pick a chapter president, bro, I would, ooh, man, 
They were masked in the car. Something was going on. Yeah, they they said that uh, they thought they had stolen that car. The police said it was a stolen car with a fake license plate. Uh, give me a break. Maybe he shouldn't have knocked the person's mirror. Uh, do you think he knocked the guy's mirror? They didn't say that. <laughs> uh, extreme ra- extreme car racer, extreme race, extreme racer said this couldn't happen here. Both would have died of lead poisoning. What they? You think they were eating paint chips? <laughs> Looks like they were trying to steal it and didn't expect him to fight back. Oh, they might have been doing that, trying to steal his bike. Oh, that's right. Well, it happens in Brazil. We see those in Brazil. I didn't know it happened in Europe. Uh, and that's probably because those guys are riding around without the leaded requirement. They're riding around unleaded, which that doesn't make sense. This guy said that's what get back whips are for. Yeah. Oh, Woo. If you had a get back whip right there, boy, you could have just fired your boy right straight upside the noggin, my man. Ooh, that is what get back. And I don't mean the fake get. Some of you guys have fake get back whips. What the hell is that about? That's like that's like having a cap gun in a gunfight. You need a real get back whip, man. Stop it. Stop it. with the, there, Nothing on a motorcycle should be all show. Except your girlfriend on the back. Even she should have a purpose. Morning, Black Dragon from the We MC. Happy Veterans Day to all my brothers and sisters. Uh, that served, even if you were in the Navy. What's up, Papa Renegade, man, even if you were in the Navy? <laughs> uh, I should have bleeped that out. Hold on. Let me, where's my bleep button? Here we go. Even if oh, my bleep button's not working. Are you serious? Uh, we got to turn on the voice mod. Bleep button's not working. Well, I could have gotten in real trouble and not even known it. Uh, here, turn on the voice mod. There we go. Now. Okay. Yes. Select your speaker. Uh, well, it doesn't even, oh my goodness. It doesn't even see. Oh, that's why it ain't working. It ain't working because it ain't seeing nothing. Okay. Well, we'll have to do that. Fix that next time. Okay. Okay. There There we are. All All right. right. All done. Okay. Now we have the bleep button. Yeah, so I can just bleep. (laughs) That's what I think about that statement, Papa Renegade. (laughs) Uh... Being a former firefighter, I'd be removing the glass faster than they could have hit the glass. I'll leave the rest up to your imagination. Good morning, Black Dragon. I I, I don't want to adma- imagine that. That's terrifying. You guys out there sound terrifying. Man. Uh, happy Veterans Day. Thank you for your service. Thank you, Life's Resurrection. Thank you for your support. Uh, same way here in Kansas. One of the reasons I moved... What happened in Kansas? Why did you move from Kansas? I thought Kansas was a pretty decent gun state. Uh, if you're going to hit me with a cage, can I at least, can your car at least be man sized? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's funny. Uh, Verdu is always a little chilly around this time, but uh, oh, is that where you are, Duke Rose and San Verdu? Uh, great place, man. Great place. Uh, probably didn't realize what was happening and just doing an emergency braking maneuver. Uh, could be. Uh, you ain't lying, Black Dragon. I think uh, he was more upset that it was uh, that little small little thing, small little car. Uh, in Iowa, you don't need a CCW permit. You can also legally open carry. Yeah. Good morning, Kevin Fitz. What's up with you? Uh, Goose says... Uh, yeah, their go-to move is the head uh, is the headbutt in a fight, and he had a lid on, so they beat feet. Yeah, you know what? Uh, when you have a lid on, never forget the go-to move, the headbutt. Ninety percent of Fiat's are still on the road. The other ten percent made it home. There you go. 
I'd never seen one of those little cars before. I, I haven't seen a Fiat in a long time. They remember they used to be this little cool open road little machines that everybody had. So uh, over there, you got to be special to carry a handgun. Think mostly shotguns are sold. Popo don't carry there either. Yeah, I saw that. That was really strange uh, that the police didn't have guns. Uh, but people had uh, uh, people had more um, have more obedience for the law over there. If a cop says stop, they they like stop and stuff, and you know they don't even talk back to them and stuff over there. In the UK, the UK cops have, really have the whole mind control thing. Like I said, stop, like like they got it down, like you know. I, I said, said stop. 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 Right now. stop. stop. And then the people like pull over. It's serious. Uh, this would be the first time some bikers got in a jam and a motorcycle ministry group was present with them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I would say that. Uh, but as I understand it, as I've heard, and I, I don't. I don't know what's going on in their motorcycle club, but I've heard somebody sent me a message that used to be in that club. They told me that they, that that person was no longer in the club. And so if you went on his Facebook page and saw the disciple Christians, um, that was old, um, instead of, instead of current, that's what I'm told, but we'll see. Uh, I'm, Actually supposed to be talking to some of those guys today. We're going through a rough patch here at LRP and where we and and where we're from, the church don't help much with hands on help. Um not sure what you're talking about there. Send me a text an email. Uh when you hang out with bikers, building that relationship and trust and things go down, you are there for it. Oh, there you go. Um, anyway, I think that's good for the day. 35 minutes in, no need to talk all this to death. Uh, uh, council, uh, council CMA says my chapter and members have been very fortunate during such events, missing shootings, fights, raids by hours at a time. That, that's not a lot of time to be missing them by, but yeah, you guys have been very lucky. Happy veterans day, Detroit highwayman. Um, Effed up beyond all repair. Is that what that means? FUBAR? That's what it meant in the Navy. Uh, so um, I'm just coming, trying to come to the end of the comments here. What ain't no country I ever heard about say what? Uh, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Were you guys like talking to each other? I don't mind people expressing their religion i just take umbrage over their sense of superiority that's Ann squirrely i love her um she's gonna always put it to you i, I got your email at to, uh squirrely i'm gonna be reading that uh when i get some free time today thank you for sending that to me um watched machine gun preacher last night hell raising biker found god and ended up creating a ministry in sudan at great expense and risk to his life oh i gotta check that out I, I got to check that out. Sounds like a cool show, movie. Um, I know some of those guys. Just because you wear a Christian patch does not mean that you are beyond sin. Trying to walk the walk can be tough some days, says Hellfighter Steve, who is a, uh, a preacher too. So, you know, the preacher dudes know it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, Duke Rose says, damn, Hellfighter Steve, preach it, brother. Yeah, you know, the preacher dudes know it. Uh, I, on the other hand, am without sin uh, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just ask me, I'll tell you. Uh, my personal opinion, Black Dragon, but you and this channel were inevitable to become great because of your dedication and straightforward nature and not being fake. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't make, don't make me cry on here. I'm one of those crying bikers. That you know what? That 
I'm a crying. I need a I need a guitar. I need a song. Uh, I need a good country and western song. The crying biker. Uh, don't make me cry. Boy, you guys are getting ready, getting ready to start singing. Uh, but anyway, hey dragon. I uh, got here. Thank you for your service. Happy Veterans Day. Thank you, Jeff. Appreciate you, man. Mo G says, uh, it's funny you just started speaking on the veterans tip. Just sent you an email 15 minutes ago. Stay well. And the Marine Corps is a department of the Navy. The men's department. Ah! <laughs> the men. <laughs> wow. Well, that's... <laughs> okay. Well, looks like we've discovered a glitch in the board. <laughs> wow. Is it? Wow. About time to replace this board. <laughs> Did you see that? that? That was weird. Must have been that I'm without sin joke. Uh, it's just a joke. <laughs> All right. uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> wow, that was, that was weird. Um, I can't stand seeing cars go after riders on purpose, says Miss I ain't shit. Uh, I've popped off on a driver for that mess. You, you mean popped a cap off? <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, some of my, my, my subscribers out there, y'all don't be need to, needing to be messing with. Um, yeah. So anyway, I think uh, I think that's good. Crying biker song would be you picked a fine time to leave me front wheel. There you go. <laughs> That'll make you cry for real. The Navy throws officers, missiles, and Marines at a problem. The Navy wants the Marines back. Uh, no, we don't. You, you send them on over there. That, you know why I didn't like the Marines? Because they they take all the women off the tender. You're in the Navy, and they had the submarine tender. Because there was no submarine women when I was in that you could choose from. The only women were on the tender, the submarine tender. So you're over in like Holy Lake, Scotland, or places like that. They have a, de a, a deployment of Marines aboard. And everybody wants something different. So you're a squid... And you got the little Marine running around. <laughs> and the Navy women that were there to pick from, you lost a good 62% of them to the damn rah-rah boys. <sighs> Can I not be loved for my mind? I am a fire control technician. I... I deal with nuclear weapons, my dear. Oh, that's so interesting. And then Muscle Man runs by. <laughs> She's gone. Hate them damn Marines. Hmm. Just letting you know where it came from. Uh, because those Navy bell bottoms weren't as cool as the Marines. And, bro, God dang. I mean, the dress blues were cool and everything like that. Girls in Oklahoma liked it. But we weren't in Oklahoma. You're standing next to a guy with the blood stripe, and they had this cool, and then they had the white, and they all, they taught them to walk some kind of weird way, like a goose with a jar of peanut butter stuck up its ass. They all walk this kind of way. And they got a sword. That really pissed me off. They got a sword with their uniform. We didn't get no damn sword. I wanted a sword. You know, I I actually, I I'm actually a ranked black belt. I could I knew how to use a sword. These cats are walking around with a sword. Oh, I hated those Marines, man. 
then their barracks was all outfitted. I remember when I was in submarine base, New London, their barracks had these big, huge press irons. We had to go buy a Navy Exchange $22 iron. These guys had the ones like they had in the in the uh, 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 cleaners. So they're standing over there doing their uniforms, steam all over the place. They pop them dress blues off, just looking good. And you think the Navy would give us that so we could look good in our bell bottoms? But you're right, SSW, thank you, SSW, you, you're right, SSW said. But the Navy bell bottoms were designed for a purpose, actually, and they were. And that purpose was so that you could get them off when you, if you were to fall overboard, you could, you could easily get your pants off with your shoes still on. And uh, then you... There's a thing that we would wrap them around and threw them through the air like this, and they would create a flotation device. And that that's the truth. So uh, everything, every uniform has its purpose. Uh, it, uh, it, uh, uh, <laughs> MOG said the bell bottoms so the Marines could reach up your skirt. <laughs> I'll, boy, I'll mess you up. Don't play on my on my channel. Do not play on my channel. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. He had to say it twice. <laughs> anyway, uh, I, I'm going to leave you uh, chummy dudes. Uh, leave it to the Navy to design clothes for taking off. Bro, you fall in that water. Um, uh, they had a, you know, there, there were certain things you had to be able to do if you wanted to live. Um, but anyway, I digress. Listen, man, I want you guys to have a great time today. Enjoy. Hey, listen, there are places you can go to eat for free if you're a veteran. Um, they got free meals or discounted meals out there all over the place. Go enjoy your meal today, man. Let the country say thank you. They've got some discounts. 10% discounts and all this kind of stuff. A lot of them want you to have uh, your uh, some sort of ID. And if you didn't know it, you can go get your ID from the VA. Uh, if you didn't retire and you don't have a retirement ID card, the VA actually gives you a military-like ID. Or if you got separated for the, from the Navy for... Um, um, for, for, for medical reasons or whatever, the Navy gives you, uh, not the Navy, the VA gives you a, a, an ID and that ID works just like a, uh, it's a, it's an, it's a military ID card and it gets you discounts, um, in the, uh, store side. I don't want to show you mine cause it's got my personal information on it, but it gets you discounts in the store, um, get you discounts at hotels, um, all that stuff with this, uh, with this ID, I show you the back of it, but it looks almost like a driver's license. So it looks like your old ID card actually kind of. So if you don't have your ID card, you can go to a military base, uh, or to the, uh, to the, uh, uh, VA administration office and they will give you your ID card and also, that ID card allows you to shop on base at the military exchanges. So they opened that up to veterans. You don't have to be retired anymore to shop on base because they started losing so many customers on base that they had to open it up uh, to keep those stores open. So now you can enjoy the benefits of certain things on base. I think you can go bowling and stuff like that, like you used to when you were in the Navy or Army or Marine Corps or Air Force or Coast Guard. So there you go. All right. That's my two cents a day. Check it out. My brand new channel just started this morning. It's called MC Protocol 101. And MC Protocol 101 
is uh, me going back to my roots. I've noticed that there's been a whole lot, I mean a whole lot, a whole lot of MC protocol channels pop up as people look at us do this and say, oh, I could do that. And for the past few years, I really haven't said a whole lot. I've just been watching. A lot of these guys have about three, four, five years experience in a motorcycle club. Uh, many of them have quit their clubs and put out of their clubs or moved away from the, the, the in club life. And they've created these channels where they give all of this instruction. And some of it is, is okay. Some of it is good. Uh, and a lot of it is just really, uh, what you expect from a journeyman, someone that hasn't really experienced, uh, club life at a high level. So those guys can tell you, Oh, don't, don't piss off a one percenter. They can tell you a whole bunch of that. And and we all do that. Um, but what they can't tell you is in depth things like somebody that's been doing this for 30 some years. That's operated at the top. Like a lot of these guys, can they tell you what it's, what they, have they opened up motorcycle clubs? Have they opened up chapters? Have they been in high level meetings and things like that stuff you would need to know if you're going to really know MC protocol? Most of these guys have never been higher than maybe a sergeant at arms or something. So we've decided to go back to the roots. Our MC protocol one-on-one chap, uh, channel is just straight MC protocol. That's it. MC protocol, how to videos. Um, Short to the point, pointing out MC protocol uh, from a high level perspective, uh, not somebody that's been uh, uh, doing this for two weeks or two months or two years or, or less than five years. I, I don't understand how you would really, uh, I do understand because you can make a lot of money doing these channels. And if you've got the right kind of, uh, um, right kind of, uh, video and the right kind of uh, editing and the right kind of look and the right kind of so-called credentials. Uh, people are very visual. I, you know, I'm an old guy. I don't have the flashy graphics and stuff. So, you know, people like the Hollywood look, but when you, when, when you listen to those guys, I, I've d delved through some of those channels. When you listen to those guys, you're like, Phew boy, that, that ain't going to work. Uh, and then it's funny because, uh, a lot of, some of those guys come from the one percenter side and they have no experience and no idea of anything that 99% of motorcycle clubs do or even have to go through. And yet they want to be the prodigioner of all MC protocol. So they're going to tell you how to run your 99% club but get damn pissed off if you were to say something about how to run a 1% club. So I'm just, sometimes I just, I just look at those guys in utter amazement at some of the stuff they say. And it's like, bro, you ain't even got no clue what the hell you're talking about. So MC protocol one oh one is my brand new channel. I put one 60 second video up, look to that place for sending your prospects and people like that too, people that are new to the what's going on and people that want to brush up on their MC protocol. I expect to fill that stuff up. There'll be no biker news or none of that stuff on there, just straight MC protocol. So we launched that last night, put up our first video, and I uh, hope you guys go check that out. Also, go check us out at Think Tactical. Anyway, that's my two cents. Love to hear your two cents in the comments section below. Have a great day today. Thank you, and God bless you, veterans, for keeping this country strong. If you've been to other countries, you know America is, is not perfect and is quite screwed up. But it's a really great place to live. Uh, and for the most part, fairly safe. Uh, unless you, you, you uh, put that patch on that didn't get blessed, then you might have to fight for it. But other than that, it's a pretty decent place and uh, has been a good place for me for the last 59 years. Peace.
and motor grease. Keep them two wheels down. Hey, subscribers, whenever you are in Macon, Georgia, you have to get over to my motorcycle club brother's cigar lounge. Haley's Cigar Lounge on Ingleside Avenue has a night or several nights just right for you. Monday night football kicks off the week. Wednesday is whiskey night. Thursday, ladies night. Saturdays are make your night. And wrapping up the weekend, it's Sunday football. Haley's is closed on Tuesdays. Enjoy the friendly atmosphere at Haley's. Hang out at the bar or outside on the patio. They can also host your small events. Haley Cigar Lounge, 2308 Ingleside Avenue in Macon, Georgia. Be sure to tell them Black Dragon sent you. Get Black Dragon's first book, The Prospects Bible, to learn how to join a motorcycle club. It has been an Amazon number one bestseller for the past seven years and is required reading for over 3,000 motorcycle clubs worldwide. This book is a must-have for new people venturing into the motorcycle club set. It will teach you how to prepare yourself for service to the motorcycle club nation and show you how to qualify a motorcycle club to be worthy of your service. Available on Amazon, Kindle, and for order at your local bookstore. Get your autograph copy at blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club prospect you can be. Get the book. Prepare yourself to take the helm as president of your mighty motorcycle club by delving into the pages of Black Dragon's newest book, The President's Bible, Chronicle One, Principles of Motorcycle Club Leadership. There you will learn to advance your skills in applying the 14 scientific principles of leadership similar to those taught to officers in the United States Naval Service. Available in hardcover, paperback, and ebook, get yours today on Amazon, Kindle, or order it at your local bookstore. Order your autographed copy from blackdragonsgear.com. Be the best motorcycle club president you can be. Get the book.